guys, it's Liddy here from LA3D Printing, and today I'm going to be reviewing some of Strong Hero 3D Highlight PLA Silver Filament. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so um, Strong Hero 3D um, has sent me some great uh, silver filament. I believe this is some of their new PLA filament. It is actually called Highlight PLA. Um, which is more, I think, uh, like a silky. They have actually printed some models, and they were more like statue models, which is really cool. Um, but basically, this is just a plain box starting off right away. Um, it says GT PLA, but then on this side it says um, Highlight PLA, which I'm not sure that, what the difference is. Um, it, again, the color is silver. It says temperature 215. Um, and that is actually higher than I normally print my PLA, um, depending on what printer is it on. When I printed on my TiVo Michelangelo, they are all at 230 degrees just to get it to stick to the bed. Um, but yeah, so I just opened the box. It's a normal box, and it just comes with a um, bag. It is not very vacuum sealed. I mean, it's kind of vacuum sealed, but I'm totally fine. I will not use this bag again, so it doesn't matter to me. Um, it comes with a desk skin pack inside, and it also um, just comes with another sticker, but this is on the spool. Just the same thing as it says on the box. Uh, so let's open this bag up. All right, so open the bag. Um, this actually smells like glue, which is really weird, like Elmer's glue. When I open the bag, um, that's a really weird smell. But this is actually a really, really different spool. I've never seen this type of spool before. It's brand new to me. Um, I'm not sure where these guys are based out of. I kind of forgot. Maybe I'll put a little um, words down here. Uh, what they're where they're based out of but this is actually a really different spool it's actually kind of cool I like all the openings here um, they do have more than two um, spots to hold the filament they have six so there's one here one here and then one down here and then the same on the other side which is actually super nice I definitely like that that's um, also what Polymaker has on their spools but again I've never seen this spool before it looks like it's clicked together and then glued maybe I'm not sure again it is a really different weird spool um, but looking at the filament as you can see here it is very straightly wound um, it is very nice it kind of looks like it has like some indents in the filament which is really weird I'm not sure what that is but it's definitely a shiny silk filament it's kind of like my gold um, silk PLA from um, Tesla but yeah, this actually looks like a very nice filament, and I can't wait to print with it. I think I'm going to be printing some more, like, sculpture things. Might be printing a couple more Albert Einsteins. I hope you guys enjoyed that last video that I put up of Albert Einstein. I thought that turned out really awesome, and actually a lot of people at my school thought it was a really cool print. So I might be printing some more of him, just because he's such a cool guy. Um, but yeah, so let's start printing with this stuff, and hopefully it turns out great. All right, guys, welcome back. So unfortunately, as you could see um, from the last clip, there was no time lapse, and that is because I am working on a new system that um, Devin over at Make Anything uh, taught his subscribers on how to make those really cool time lapses that, that you might have seen um, people have been making with Octoprint um, and the Raspberry Pis, but this is using just my GoPro and the little uh, remote. So I'm working on that right now, actually. So hopefully in the next few videos, there will be some really cool um, time lapses. But other than that, I printed a couple things. As you guys um, can see, I printed this giant Reptar, which I finally got to um, printing and I was actually supposed to be printing this in the Kodak's red um, hips filament but I still have not gotten that to print right even in my enclosure so um, I s might upload the video that I've already filmed for that the review but I actually haven't gotten that to print right but I so I printed this um, and I'll show you guys up in detail what that looks like and I printed um, um, so a couple new things for just my office and for my new airbrush that I'm going to be getting and then I printed some parts for a new bionic hand that I'm going to be building but other than that I didn't print a whole bunch um, just because I really wanted to get this video up for you guys and a lot of these prints actually show how good of quality this is um, this filament so uh, let's check out what those prints look like alright so starting off with the maker coin as always I believe this one is a little bigger than the ones I usually make just so that um, you can see clearly what it is um, so I believe this is about 80% instead of 65 uh, so as you can see the bottom layer went down okay now this was on my TiVo Tornado which I'm still trying to dial in for some reason it's not printing correctly um, but there were supports on here they didn't come off the best um, for some reason on these maker coins they aren't coming off the greatest but um, under here it has came off way better than it usually does but again the first layer went down pretty nicely 
And um, this is some very shiny, silky silver, which I'm a really big fan of. I think it just looks really nice and cool and definitely can make some really cool things out of. And this Maker Coin probably turned out one of the best Maker Coin I've ever printed. So my next print, like I mentioned, is this Big Reptar. Now I believe this is almost 200% scale, and this was printed on my TiVo Tornado. Um, as you can see, there were some layer lines here, and that is totally not the filament. This is definitely my printer. Again, I'm still dialing it in. Um, but there were lots of supports, so there was support underneath his belly and his tail. I also had to print this on a raft or else it would have warped because I did try to print it in PTG once and that still didn't work. So the raft came off the feet very nicely, but um, unfortunately the tail did not come off very nice. So there was support all the way up here, supported the fingers, and I only had one problem where one of the fingers broke off, but I just super glued that back on and everything looked nice. There was um, some still... Um, banding and stuff here. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but um, I tried to use my TL smoothers on this printer, but it obviously didn't do much. Um, and as you can see, I lost a lot of his teeth because I did not have um, support material inside. I just had support material touching the build plate. Uh, but most of his teeth turned out pretty nice, um, pretty average. And again, there was no support under here, but there was some here. So this didn't turn out the greatest. But um, once I finish this and start painting this in another video, um, it should all work out. But other than that, everything looked pretty nice. This um, was about an 18-hour print. As you can see, it is very large. And hopefully I will be creating a really cool video on painting this. The next thing I printed was just this... Um, little airbrush stand. I printed this on my TiVo Michelangelo. Um, it warped just a little bit uh, because I did not have the bed level completely. But other than that, this actually turned out really nicely. As you can see under here, um, there is no drooping at all at this angle, which is really nice. Um, there was some um, stringing up here. But other than that, this is actually a super nice print, and I will definitely be using this a lot with my new airbrush. The second to last print I printed was just this little pencil stand, um, because I do have a lot of markers and stuff up there. Uh, so I decided to print this, and this will just go on my desk. Um, it was two pieces. This, cam this part comes off, and then the bottom is one piece. And just sits like this on your table, and you can put all your pens in it. And this actually turned out really great for being how thin it was. The layers went down great, and the sides look amazing. And lastly, my prints on my TiVo Flash uh, were these just finger, the middle parts of the fingers for the bionic prosthetic hands. And these actually turned out really nicely. These were printed on a um, raft which turned out really great they just popped right off I finally got my raft settings nice on most of my printers so um, it turned out pretty good there's still some ghosting here I still have to figure out why that is happening on my flash I do have all my belts tightened and everything but it is still happening but other than that this filament actually turned out really amazing and I hopefully will be printing a lot more with it alright guys so that is it for today's video I really hope you enjoyed it and hopefully again I will be creating another video on um, airbrushing and painting and showing you guys how I now feel finish my 3D prints um, that are printed in PLA. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Keep us growing and uh, thank you for staying here at the end of the video if you are. Don't forget if you're going to order any TiVo 3D printer, my affiliate link is down in the description below. So you can use that to help me and I will get a little bit money back to help me grow and um, produce more videos for you guys on this channel. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.